local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, after a pretty dreary weekend, things are finally starting to lighten up and brighten up out there, especially if you're to the northwest. Here's a live look outside to the Williston area. Things are starting to actually clear up. Yes, that is blue sky that you're see seeing there. The other thing you're seeing is with a little bit of instability, some what we call agitated cumulus clouds are also building uh, off on the distance there. Don't expect them to create any rain, just kind of out there in the distance. Right now in the Williston area, you're at 62 degrees. Look at those winds, nice and calm out there. Dew point is also pretty dry at 44 degrees. As we go to the southeast, to the Bismarck area, away from Williston, a much thicker deck of cloud cover in the, uh, in the Bismarck area. So that's kind of keeping temperatures in check. 59 right now in the capital city with those north winds at 5 miles an hour. Uh, your humidity right now checking in at 72%. Here's a look at the temperatures. You can kind of see our wind bars really not moving too fast, which is good. Winds are light, but temperatures where they have the sunshine, they're into the 60s right now. And where that cloud cover is a little bit thicker, you can see just 54 in Elgin, 59 in Rugby, and 60 right now in the Turtle Mountains. And here's a look at the official winds uh, out of the northwest at between 5 and 10 miles an hour. So a pretty light and tranquil day out there. Here's the satellite radar picture. You can really see how thick some of those clouds are, especially from a, a quarter, you know, Bismarck up through Wing and up toward the uh, Devil's Lake region. Once you get away from there, the clouds start to thin out a little bit as we have a system to the south that's slowly making its way to the east. So we will see clearing very slowly as we go through the afternoon and evening hours, which you'll see here on Precision Cast as I put this into motion. By this afternoon, I can't roll out a couple of pockets of patchy drizzle, really nothing that should uh, impact your afternoon plans. And then by tonight, we should be night, we should be clearing out quite significantly and really lots of sunshine by the time you head back to work uh, on Tuesday morning. So your forecast today for the capital city is a pretty nice one, mostly cloudy, but comfortable temperature, 65 degrees. Again, patchy drizzle probably through about 5 o'clock. It'll be hit or miss. Not everyone will see it, but don't be surprised if you see a couple raindrops on your windshield. I've taken the mention of drizzle out for the Magic City. I think that window has closed. You'll get to 70 degrees today with mostly seasonable weather. Highs today, it depends on where you are. Warmer to the northwest where they have some of that clearing. You can see 71 in Williston and Wolf Point, as well as in Minot, but slightly cooler back across the uh, southeast, 65 in Bismarck today, 64 in Linton, and further to the uh, south there, 65 in the Mobridge area. If you have a holiday cookout planned this afternoon, I think it'll be okay. You might dodge just a little bit of that patchy freezing, or freezing drizzle, patchy drizzle if you're in the Bismarck area with temperatures in the 60s this afternoon. Here's your three-day forecast for Dickinson. Pretty nice over the next couple of days. 81 by the time we get to Wednesday. About the same thing in Williston. Lots of sunshine here over the next three days. 78 and 79 for the uh, middle part of the week. And here's your extended forecast for the uh, capital city. You can see lots of sunshine. That's the theme over the next seven days and warming temperatures. We will have a very brief cool down Thursday as a front rolls through and a high of just 72. And you can see those highs as we get toward the weekend in the mid 80s. About the same thing for the Magic City. Lots of sunshine this week, Alicia. But next weekend, my goodness, some of those temperatures getting into the upper 80s. And then maybe even next week, we could see temperatures flirting with 90 degrees. You heard that correctly. Well, don't they say Memorial Day is the kickoff to summer, and I think uh, it's proving to be true right and, now. And June is the first day of meteorological summer, so there you go. Ah, there we go. All right. Thank you very much, Robert. Well,